My name is Jürgen Steutner and today I'd like to show you how to do your own canvas for painting. Like this one. Or the one behind me. Most likely the one behind me because for this size it's not really worthwhile to do it yourself. Now what do we need to do our own canvas? This is what you need for a wooden wedge frame. You certainly need side pieces, wedges, at least eight, a ruler and a hammer. So why did I tell you to use wedge frames and not just a simple piece of wood? This is cheaper. Well, that's because a wedge frame has three very important characteristics. First of all, it's not just one piece of wood, it's two lined together. That makes it straight and to check whether it's straight or not, you can watch along the edge. Secondly, it has an elevation here, which is very important to keep a distance between the canvas itself and the, and the frame. And thirdly, you can use wedges, that's where the name comes from. You put them in like this and when you hammer on them, this will increase the size of the painting and stretch the canvas again. For very large frames, you might need this little speciality, a double frame. It's two frames attached to each other so that the elevation is on the outside. When attaching, make sure you use screws from the back side so it doesn't come out on the front. It's very important, nails will not do it. So now just assemble it. The next step would be to close the gaps. Once you've done this, we want to check the angles. For this, we take the ruler. With a frame like this, this diagonal is shorter than the other one, and you have it have to move it this. For larger frames, suppliers recommend to use middle pieces like this one to make a cross in the middle and to have the wedge frame more stable. Use them, they're not too expensive. Thanks a lot, I hope I could help you. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to post a comment. Thank you.